Hi guys, welcome to Family and the Feast channel. My name is Janet and in today's video we will be making pine tart, one of my household favorite. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements that will be used in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe yeah. for more videos. My ingredients are all-purpose flour, butter, shortening, some sugar, ice cold water, I have eggs, I have some mixed essence, cinnamon stick and some salt and of course the pineapple. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my pine. We're going to start doing the pine filling for the pine tart. Okay, so when I'm making my pine filling for my pine tart, this is the way I like to prepare my pine. By simply cutting down the middle. It is a technique I've learned in my pastry class a very long time ago. And I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna scrape all of this out. Just remember not to get the core of the pine. I've reached the core of the pine. I'm gonna take my knife and just slice that down there. Slice the other side. Taking this out. This is all done. This is how it will look. Taking the seeds out. Okay guys, to a heavy bottom pot, I have my pineapple that I'm going to add. I'm going to add some mixed essence and I have two sticks of cinnamon and I'm using some brown sugar for this. If you prefer to use the white sugar that can work as well but you may need to add a little bit more than the brown one. I'm going to stir this in and allow it to get thick. Okay guys, so while this is cooking, I am going to move on to my pastry dough. Okay, I'm adding my butter. And I'm adding my shortening. I have some salt. So when you're mixing your dough guys, it's better to go in with your fingers because the shortening and the butter and the salt really need to combine well. So with your fingers, you're going to try to squeeze these into the flour until it starts to look like wet sun. If you try to do this in a mixer, it will never work. The flour and the butter and the shortening will not combine well. Like when you're doing it with your fingers. So just remember that when you're mixing your dough. Now I'm going to add 
the cold water. And for pastry, you don't have to knead your dough too much. Once the dough come together, just make it into a ball. Make sure you add a little bit of water at a time and it should be ice cold water. So your dough doesn't get sticky. So I'm gonna Take this out of the bowl, put it on my fat board, and I'm gonna just squeeze this into a ball. And I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. We still have to wait on the pine filling to finish. So guys, this is a look at my pine jam. This is uh, 20 minutes into the cooking process. We don't want all this sauce in it. So we are gonna allow this to cook some more. You want to keep your stove on medium heat throughout this cooking process guys just in case you're working on your pastry dough and you're not paying attention and it burns so just keep it on a medium heat throughout because of all the sugar it's gonna burn quickly if you're not paying attention to it so okay guys so while my pine is on the stove and my dough is in the freezer chilling I am going to get started on my egg wash. I am only using the egg white. I don't like to use the yellow, the yolk from it. So I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna just beat my egg white up. And remember, if you like to use the yolk from the egg, it's okay. I just don't like it. So it's been more than 35 minutes since my pineapple jam has been on the stove. Okay guys, here's a look when the pine filling is done. Um, I'm gonna just allow this to cool down. I'm gonna take my stove off and allow this to cool down before I start making my pine tart. This is how it is. Okay, so here's my dough. I'm gonna roll this out. I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour on top of this. And I'm gonna roll this out. It's bound to crack like that, guys. Don't worry. Just bring the ends in together and keep on rolling. And you can make this as thin as you like okay guys so i've rolled this out to about of a quarter inch thickness i'm still going to roll this out a little bit more thin but first i have my cookie cutter i'm gonna make these into small circles so i'm gonna put these on the side and we're gonna work with one at a time so i'm going to show you how to fill these with the jam okay so i am going to roll this out Nice and thin. I 
I am going to brush this with a little bit of the egg wash. I'm going to put a little bit of the jam filling in the middle. And you can put as much or as little as you like. You're going to spread that out into a circle. And you're going to try to bring the ends in so that you get that nice triangle shape like the pine tart. And the egg wash on the side is just to make sure you seal the edges so that the pine filling don't ooze out on the side and burn while you're baking it. Press that down. If you didn't get that, here is a second look. My egg wash. And you are going to place your jam in the middle. Make sure you spread that out nice and thin. You want each bite to have that jam filling. Bringing the ends again in, forming that pint heart shape. Nice. I'm going to finish up the rest and I'll show you when I'm all done with the others. Okay, guys, so here's a look when I finish rolling and placing all my pint heart on this tray. I am going to brush these with a little bit of egg wash on the top. You don't want to skip this process, guys, because... This is going to help to seal the edges in as well. It was already sealed from the inside and you want to still do that so that it seals from the outside. My oven is preheated to 375 and I'm going to bake these for 18 to 20 minutes. I want the top to be nice and golden brown. All done. I am going to put these in the oven. I'm taking this out. It's been actually 25 minutes. Okay, guys, so I've already placed these on a plate. I'm going to just break into one so you see how nice and crispy and flaky they are. And the jam filling is all the way in the end. Yummy. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for watching.